Now we move back to the conversation about bipartisan and the talks that uh, are going to be happening hopefully soon and what kind of talks we expect to have. Stuart Mazzaio is somebody who was sent by the people of Kilifi County again to represent them in the Senate. While in the Senate, the Azimio coalition chose him to be the minority leader in the Senate. He joins us now in the conversations. Good morning. 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 Karibu sana to the Situation Room. Asante. We sure. call that the hot seats of the Situation Room. So I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Make yourself comfortable <laughs> and relax. Yeah. You know, you, you've been a senator now for how many terms? Uh, three times. This is your third time. Yes. You know, so since devolution started, yes. the people of Kilifi County have seen it fit to have you represent them in that house. I thank them for the confidence they have in me. Mm -hmm. And now the coalition that you're in has also seen it fit to elevate you to the position of leader of the minority in house. That also is another one. So I thank the, uh, the, the principles <laughs> of Ajmio <laughs> as well as Barbara Elamolodinka. Okay. Yeah. So we want to have a conversation about, um, you know, the talks. Yesterday there was a meeting of the Azimio leadership. Mm -hmm. Among those in attendance was Stuart Mazzaio, the minority leader in the Senate. And we want now to get the 411. But to welcome you to the conversation, Siti Muga has the day's proverb. Yes, sir. Thank Proverbs you. from this week come from Congo, mm -hmm. the Republic of Congo, Congo Brazzaville. A cat goes into a monastery, but she still remains a cat. A cat goes into a monastery, mm. but she still remains a cat. Mm. Senator, what do you make of that proverb? I mean, the cat can't change. Mm. <laughs> it's always a cat. Hatai batizwe, paka ni paka. Paka ni paka. Okay. So, yesterday... In this meeting that was uh, held, is this the first meeting that uh, was being held since the Sunday press conference by the Azimio leadership? Well, they have had quite a bit of some consultative meetings, mm. uh, which is the norm of uh, all political parties. They keep on uh, talking to one another. Right. But yesterday, I think it was uh, the, the, leader, the leadership, uh, the meeting, mm. all the leaderships. Uh, with regards to uh, wh what do they have to do mm. next now what, that we are where we are. What, what was the agenda of yesterday's meeting? I think uh, we made it very public. If you heard ba what Baba said, mm. it's exactly that was the agenda. Mm. We're going to discuss on how we are going to approach uh, the, the, the issues right now mm. engulfing the country. Mm. Let me read an excerpt of what um, Baba read yesterday as, yeah. uh, at the end of that meeting. He said, there has been a meeting of the Azimio leadership to deliberate further on the developments since Sunday. The meeting reiterated commitment to the envisaged dialogue between the parties. It further reiterated determination to see all the core issues on the table. And they went ahead to list them, number one. Addressing the cost of living, the meeting agreed that high cost of living is urgent. Number two, the audit of service. The meeting agreed that auditing the 2022 election service is necessary and urgent. Number three, reform and reconstitute the IBC. The meeting agreed that electoral reforms are urgent and necessary for future elections. Fidelity to the letter and spirit of multi-party democracy in Parliament. We also touched on other areas including composition of the bipartisan committee, implementation of the recommendations and involvement of leaders outside Parliament. And this is where you said, he said that our suggestion is to have a conversation at the national level through a process akin to the 2008 National Accord. To this end, the coalition proposes a team drawn from its ranks, both in Parliament and outside Bunge. Let's start with that one. Explain. What does that mean? Yes. Uh, you see, it's not, it's not the end of everything when you have uh, everything being discussed in Parliament or being debated in Parliament and you leave it to the politicians to handle it alone as, uh, as the representatives of the people. I think that the, the knowledge, knowledge doesn't end there. We have other resourceful persons outside who could also 
contribute to what's good for this country. Mm. And therefore, I think what Baba meant was uh, that parliamentarians will be involved in this matter. And also, at the same time, we try to bring in professionals who could try and uh, bring more I think more of uh, who could some contrib guidelines. Contribute further also. to this discussion. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So then you went ahead then to discuss the composition of that of that committee. Um, who, who? How many members would this committee have? Seven. Yeah. Seven, so from seven, seven from Azimio. Seven from Azimio and seven from uh, the other side. Okay. Yes. Why seven? An even number. Seven is odd. Hmm? Seven and seven is fourteen. So you want to oh. okay, it's fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Okay. So you want to have a fourteen member committee? Yes. I think that was a proposal. Mm -hmm. And I think it was agreed mm. that Azimio will produce seven and so uh, the other side will also Kenya produce Kenya Kwanza produces another seven. Another seven. Okay. Yeah. And they should be both parliamentarians and non parliamentarians. No. Those seven will have to be parliamentarians. Okay. Yeah. So where do the other external people come in and how many? The other people will... Uh, I think the way I look at it is that um, the, other, the other people are supposed to be like technical bench. Okay. Okay. So whenever we, we have an issue, we are discussing, we have already laid down what we want. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the three fundamental issues that we are saying uh, we are putting down as a proposal for them to to see how we can go about it and achieve. Mm. But at the end of the day, uh, the technical bench or the technical uh, uh, past personnel will be will be also guiding us mm. as we go into these discussions, mm. because of course at the end of the day we have to uh, report to the principals of how far we've gone with the discussions. Mm -hmm. And I believe uh, that that's the way to go. So what role will Raila, Martha Karua, Kalonza Musioka, Eugene Omalo, Jeremiah Keoni play? At this particular stage, we are saying, let us see how we place our proposals. And then whatever comes out of that discussion, then we'll retreat back and then have a discussion with the principals. It's from there then we'll know exactly how to how to place ourselves in this uh, in the, in the whole scenario. When you have a committee, whether it's seven, well, the seven members from either side, yeah, whatever it is you're going to discuss has been determined by the principles. So you are coming to discuss. You know exactly, as Kenya Kwanza, they know what it is they want to present and how they want to present it. Yes, as Azimio, you know. Yes. Now, so you're saying. Once you've received this mandate and you're, you, you have clarity as to the guidelines, the outcomes are then reported back to the principals. Now, well, so after that, what then do the principals do? Do they talk to each other? Or if there's a lack of clarity mm -hmm. and further discussion is required, they, tell, they, they now clarify and say, okay, now when you go back to this meeting, this is what you want to discuss it. But then... For me, the, content, the, content, the likely contentious issue is, okay, what time span, what period of time do you hope to have these discussions to the point where, well, it's not a question of agreeing, you, 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 you get to a point and say, okay, this is where we are. Yeah. Mm. You see, we, 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 as we have said before, mm. I think this is something that we can do it within a week. A week? Yeah, tomorrow we're having a meeting. Mm. Okay, the meeting of now the PG of all uh, uh, leaders mm. uh, of Azimio. Now it's from there, whatever we will be discussed, whatever will be agreed, that now that will lay the foundation on how we are going to present our issues. But as far as we are concerned, the principles laid down yesterday by reading whatever we wanted it mm. presented. Mm. And now is to explain to the larger body mm. on how we want to approach it. Okay. I am very confident that immediately we get started, somehow we are going to get to some some, okay. some situation, and uh, we we make sure we we get moving.
Mm. Yes, and I'm confident that we are going to we are going to manage the process. Mm. Are these deliberations going to only take into consideration what the principal's desires are? Or is there vested interest that will then be deliberated on as concerns the other members of the committee? Or are both sides just taking the message from the principals to say, this is what the principals want, let us discuss on those? Or will there be other thoughts coming into this? No, I don't think the principals are really uh, telling us what to do. Mm. But they're there to give guidelines. Okay. And say, we think this is the way to go. And uh, mm. this is a collective decision. Mm. It's not a single person. Like, uh, uh, they, are, they are asserting themselves upon us. No. This is an open forum where we normally discuss and agree on certain issues that we're going to play as a team. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's as simple as that. Uh, every team, of course, you can see the players in the field. But of course, at any time, the coach can call you and tell you, I think this is how you should go <laughs> and do A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. And you go back to the field and you continue playing as a player. So this is exactly how we are, we are approaching it. Mm -hmm. We're approaching it from the point of we have a technical bench on the other side. Whenever we have this kind of uh, uh, meeting as parliamentarians, mm -hmm. we have issues that we have brought to the table. And uh, of course... People have come up with different ideas. Uh, uh, whatever stakes that we have, we have already placed them. We expect them. Because much of it must come from us. Because we are the people who are demanding. Mm. And therefore, we, we have already placed whatever we, whatever we think we want to place before them for the benefit of all the Kenyans. You know, what is more important <coughs> here are the points that Baba read yesterday. Mm. Okay. The cost of living, we're saying must come down. Mm. Yeah? Uh, servers, we need to open them. That's the bone of contention. Mm. We shall place it there. Mm. Let them respond to it. Yeah? You know, the dominant discussions around the demonstrations we've had for a while now have been the very things you mentioned. And uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa government has responded by saying that they have put mechanisms in place. They talk about fertilizer subsidy. They talk about looking at how it is you don't just solve the immediate problem of hunger, but how you ensure that you have a system that guarantees that this problem doesn't arise again. Okay? Now, when you look at what you've just mentioned, you're talking about the cost of living, you're, you're talking about opening the server. Cost of living, what it is that raises the cost of living. I think the indicators are clear. We understand that this is what is being presented. But what we sometimes don't understand is how exactly will these discussions benefit the Monangi directly? Because not in the future, in the here now, let's say you finish the discussions within a week, how should these discussions come to a fruitful end? How will the Monainchi actually benefit? Because we are taking the view that the issues you are raising are issues that you feel the Monainchi also has. That's the view we've chosen to take. So if that is the view then, how will the Monainchi benefit? Well, I, I look at it this way. Hmm. This is, Kenya is now as a uh, hurting. And the most important thing or the immediate reaction that what the government should uh, should consider mm. is the subsidy. Whatever it takes. And this is a promise that they made to the Kenyans. Mm -hmm. And it's a promise that we also wanted to make to, to ensure that the Kenyans' uh, cost of living comes down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, is, uh, it is so sad if we realize right now that we are the, the government is helpless. Like they can't do anything to go to stop the cost of uh, uh, the cost of living in this country from rising up. Mm -hmm. As each day passes, we, we hear electricity has gone up again. We hear the f food prices are up, and therefore we are we are, we are we are simply saying, 
let's let's come together let's try to reason let's try mm. to see how you can bring the cost of living down and i don't think uh, uh we we are the only people who are saying that mm. almost all kenyans want the, mm. the cost of living to come down kenyans cannot live in this country anymore this is one of the most expensive countries we have in africa region senator let me read also something else that raila said yesterday we emphasize that all issues that we have laid out in public carry equal weight although the high cost of living must be addressed urgently he says in this regard we, resol we resolved that the regime must take immediate steps to bring back the cost of unga to 100 shillings as at its time of the election we further resolved that the kenya kwanza must take immediate steps to lower the cost of fuel and put a freeze on the recent increase in the cost of electricity these are not matters for a committee it's basically saying even before you form this 14 member whatever member committee you should address this what i hear raila to be saying is that parliament should have dealt with this a long time ago am i right yes i think you're right i think you're right we should have dealt with this matter a long time ago so if parliament can deal with the cost of living and you say this one can be dealt with even before we go into the matters of you know by parties and talks and all that is that, you're basically uh, saying uh, the most important pain point for the kenyan today is a matter that can be resolved by the elected leaders that we have in office today i think it requires political goodwill mm -hmm. the government must be sincere on this matter because i think uh, uh, the most important thing is uh on, on the side who are controlling the instruments of power today to decide that this is a way to go and stop this kind of uh, other expenditures that are really really the way i look at it not very necessary like yeah like which ones the appointments that we are having we're having so many appointments that come coming up people are being given cases and all these other uh, bringing offices of uh, your wives into the place, you know, whatever, buying cars for them and all this. We don't need that for the time being. Let them control the cost of living first. Uh, uh, instead of going into this kind of, uh, uh, what should I call it, merry-go-round or whatever, uh, the economy comes in first. Uh, we are being very sincere on this. And um, I really, when you look at it, whatever expenditure they have gone into, if we had decided that all this, instead of the 50 CSEs, all these offices being made for our first ladies or first women or whatever, mm. uh, would, would, would have really done something for, 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 for this country to bring the cost of living down. Okay. We have enough elected leaders. Mm. We, uh, these offices are already occupied. We have, the cabinet is in place. And I think... For the time being, they should have focused on that and made sure that the cost of living comes down. There's a figure. It's so fundamental. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, there's a figure that has been put attached to those things that you've mentioned. If you talk about the CASs, they are going to receive a definite amount as salary and allowances and all. So there's a figure of how much that's going to cost. There's a figure of how much it's costing to purchase new cars. There's a figure of how much it's costing to put up the offices of the spouses of senior people in government. Yes. Is there a figure that uh, the Azimio leadership is saying should be put aside to bring down the cost of Unga to No, no, it's, a, it's entirely up to them. Who? These, these figures, whatever they have, they have calculated for, for themselves, uh, with their, whatever, if they are CSs or spouses and all those things, those, those things, they can, uh, they, the way they have calculated, we don't, we don't know how they have calculated them. Mm. But specifically, uh, uh, if, if, at all, if at all they have to uh, come up with a figure to elevate the cost of living, they know. They have economists there. They have, they have people who can sit down and make those uh, kind of... We would have done that. They, they, know, they, 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 they know themselves and how Senator, they want, to, they, they want to, uh, to go about it. You are a minority leader. Yes. You can come up with that figure and it can be discussed in Parliament. Yes, of course. So what yes, is the figure? Yes, of course. What is yes, the figure? Course. How much How much would Azimio like to be set aside think, in budget I think, to immediately I think, bring the 
cost of unga to 100 shillings from whatever amount it is today that requires that requires a, uh, some 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 element of, uh, of of treasury coming up with a certain figure and saying this could be enough to to bring in something like a subsidy and uh, we we can we can we can oh, we bring all all, all, all parties uh, who who are who are dealing with this uh, this this aspect of uh, like like unga business the millers and sit down with them and talk talk to them and agree and then we come up with a certain figure once the millers would come up with a certain amount um, uh, that this is what once we get this then we we, we believe we can produce um, Unga to a certain level of maybe 100 shillings, then uh, the government should be able to to set aside that amount and provide to the millers, so that now we can see the the, the production. Mushima, what we're raising is this, um, both in the Senate and uh, if I may refer to it as the lower house. Azimio has members of parliament. Yes, yes. Now, when this discussion is being had, maybe it's been had and we didn't hear it or it was in the hands that we didn't read it, but as they talk about this dire situation that we are currently in, there's a cost to it. Yes. We know what the maize, what brings about the cost of maize to what it is. Okay, now, is it that the government should remove certain taxes? Is it that the government should actually set aside within its budget money that it puts in place so that, as you say correctly, give to mill millers or whoever it is, so that when eventually that maize becomes maize meal or it becomes unga, it's at 100. We haven't had that discussion being held by Azimio uh, legislators talking about these things and saying, when we say we want this thing reduced, these are the figures we have in mind. This is what the government can do. And we know the government can do it because the government can do this and this and this. Or has that conversation been had and we are the ones who didn't hear it? Mm -hmm. Well, I can say we, that kind of conversation has not taken place yet. Yes. But we know if we were the one controlling the instruments, we would have sat down and we would have got people who would have uh, sat down to analyze and uh, and see which whichever way was the best way to go about it, and I believe the people in the government should be able to sit down, should be able to call these millers. I think millers have 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 a, have, have already stated their position that once they get uh, this kind of um, um, amount of uh, um, money given to them, they are definitely going to be in a position to to, to produce. Actually, these millers actually want to be paid what they are owed to begin with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the previous yeah. government owed them money, which they say they haven't been they paid. Haven't been paid yet. But it's a responsibility of the government again at the same it time is. Mm. To, 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 it to, is. to ensure that it uh, is. no Kenyan goes to sleep hungry. It is. But you see, what we're raising, yeah. Mashimiwa, uh, forgive us if we sound like we're belaboring the point, we probably naively think that the thing that an opposition ought to do is provide clear, concrete solutions, even as they say the sitting government isn't doing what they're supposed to do, beyond saying what they think ought to be done. They ought to say, this, we think you ought to do it this way. And the way we think you ought to do it is this way. So that the challenge is direct. Now, the problems that Azimio raises are problems that every Kenyan knows. And that is the reason why Azimio has been able to get supporters during the demonstrations. Because They've put themselves in front of the problems that Kenyans have. And Kenyans feel, yes, these are problems that we have. However, there is a little silence when it comes to concrete solutions that we were hoping. And that is why yes. I'm saying mm. uh, we, we have to give this as a condition. Once we lay it down, yeah, once we put it down before them, mm. Then we should be able to also tell them mm. exactly how they should go about it. Okay. As it is at the moment, we are able to lay it down to them. Mm. We, are going, we, are, we are even having another meeting tomorrow to concretize everything. Okay. 
so that after that, then we can present it to them. And when we present it to them, mm. why we are saying them, it's the first issue that we are raising up, that the cost of living must come down. Mm. That one, we, 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 we may not compromise. Mm. It's an irreducible minimum. Yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Unga, we can't say anything else because all Kenyans cannot survive without Unga. There's no Kenyan back. who goes home to sleep today or leave or even stay a whole day without Unga. It's, mm. it's not possible. Let's take a break on that note. Yeah. 28 minutes to 10. The Honorable Stuart Mazzaio is the Senator for Kilifi County and he is the Senate Minority Leader. He's here with us today telling us why Azimio wants to move the talks out of Parliament, the structure of those talks, and also where the citizen is set to benefit from these talks. This is the Situation Room, the only way to start your day. Conversation continues with the Honorable Stuart Mazzaio, Senator Kilifi County and Senate Minority Leader. We're talking about meeting that they held yesterday as the leadership of Azimio to look at how to conduct the bipartisan talks that have been proposed by both sides of the political divide. And you've said, one of the things that you've said is, the, I mean, cost of living, there are four items. Cost of living is big. Number two, audit and open service of the 2022 election. Number three, reforms within the IEBC and this is what we're talking about first of all the selection panel and also future IEBCs and number four fidelity to the spirit of democracy in parliament basically you Ruto stop taking my people <laughs> <laughs> if we can just break it down into common language Ruto stop taking my people that's point number four point number one bring down the cost of unga to 100 bob these are the two issues are the ones that then could go into this committee stage conversation. And the committee, like you've said, you are proposing to have a 14-member committee, seven from either side, and then they'll be joined by technical teams from outside parliament who would come and give technical expertise, and then this team will be reporting to the principals. And what Raila called it yesterday is akin to the 2018 National Accord. Now, the 2018 National Accord was PNU and ODM. Uh, Kibaki, Raila. PNU had its members, and there were four, and those were Martha Karua, the late Mutula Kilonzo, some Professor Samongeri, and Moses Wetangula. ODM had four. Governor now, James Orengo, Sally Kosge, President William Ruto, and Prime Cabinet Secretary, Musale Mudavadi. Those were the eight members who were in the mediation team. The result of this mediation and all was what we saw being witnessed at the steps of Harambe House. Kofi Annan shaking the hand of Kibaki and shaking the hand of Raila and Kibaki and Raila shaking hands. And we ended up with that handshake leading into the Nusumkata government. So the people are asking, so is this what Raila is proposing? We have this kind of 2018 accord. We'll have members, members here. They'll talk about IEBC and reforms and opening the servers. And what is the result going to be? Eric, may I just append something? Yes, please do. That process had a referee. It did. Called Kofi Annan. Kofi Annan. So, if we were to replicate it, there needs to be a referee. Who is the referee? Center. Or are the players in this uh, particular scenario the referees? No, I don't think we have come to that stage yet. Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. So, uh, uh, I, I, I think one of the most fundamental issues that we, 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 we are interested in, you see, things, things like uh, uh, where, what should I say, with regards to like the IBC issue. That is so fundamental to us. Because you see, when, when, when we have to put uh, the people who are going to be supervising our elections, both parties must be able to be comfortable with such kind of people. As you can see right now, they are all loop-sided. They are one side. And we are saying, no, that's not the way to go. Let's put the field even for everyone mm. so that uh, when we approach this kind of a situation, then all of us 
are comfortable with whoever is going to uh, like the referee. Both of us must be able to have confidence in you as our referee. If we have no confidence in the referee, then we become the twelfth player for the other side. Mm. So anytime we want to score a goal, you blow an offside. Mm. <laughs> that means we will not score at all. Mm. So for as, as as it is at the moment, uh, we the we the, 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 the ground is not even. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's why we are saying it is it is important that some of these issues, an issue like that one, cannot be left at. Yeah. And whether whether we'll agree or will not agree on that, I, I believe that is fundamental. Not for only uh, us as politicians, but for Kenyans in general. Mm -hmm. We don't want a situation where after every year of election this bloodshed mm. there are people who will say no and all that then this time we, would, we we want to get it right right from the beginning senator what do you envisage as the output of these talks on those two matters audit the servers of the 2022 election and have the iabc selection panel reconstituted and talk about reforms what are the outputs? What is it that you can tick boxes and say, so this has happened and this has happened? We are yet to see that. Because we haven't... Uh, we are, we are what, what is the anticipated? So when you, for example, having the meeting yesterday and you said, these are our four main issues. And in these four main issues, issue number one can be addressed immediately in Parliament. It does not even require a committee. So we have already removed it from this committee. We've taken these other two issues into the committee. You see, these the are three issues. These, these the are two sides that. What are you? Sit. What What would you like? What are the? What's the brief or the marching orders for the seven members of Azimio? What would you like to see coming out of those talks with these three issues? We are going to place these matters before them. Yeah, all these issues, we are going to place them there and say, "This is what we want." It is up to them now to respond and say, "This one, we can handle it this way." This one we can handle it this way. Then we'll come also, also we'll we'll also come up with our own ideas mm. and say I think this is the way to go on this matter mm. instead of the, you see it's a, it's an issue of give and take because we we do not expect to go there and they stay on their headline. But and we said, also don't expect you don't expect us to go there and say this is our opposition and we are not moving. But you said that there are some irreducible minimums. For example, you say cost of living must come down. If not, we're not having yes, this conversation. Yes. So that's already a hardline stance to say that, look, this is one of the things that we're saying. Without this, then we're not even having a, a, a discussion, isn't it? But then also there's the expectation that both sides will come to the table with some kind of wiggle room and say, okay, can we do this or the other? But we've already, you're already going in saying, without the cost of living coming down, then there's really nothing else that we're discussing. And you are in the position as government to get that done. So is it a play, a mix of the two, or is it that we're actually going in to have an amicable conversation about some of the things that can actually happen? Oh, of course, of course, yes. Uh, whatever you approach a discussion, or whatever you, you approach a situation like uh, uh, we are discussing, uh, both both sides must be able to be willing to mm. give up, you know, to compromise. To compromise. Mm. Now, if if we go in and everybody stands on the hard positions, it might not be, it might not uh, make life easy for for this bipartisan approach to to to, to, to these issues. Yeah. And uh, what I, what I mean is, uh, suppose we say we we, we, we are we are standing there that uh, the, the cost of living must come down. But you 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 also must tell us you you should say you you need a bit of some time to organize yourself to bring it down. But assure the Kenyans mm. that, that you're go, you're going to bring mm. the cost of living down. Mm. Not the way we had it la la the last time when you say when you put the Bible down. <laughs> <laughs> then all the cost of, I mean, you bring, you bring down the prices to, to almost everything, mm. and yet it hasn't happened up to now. Instead, it's going the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah, mm. we we are saying now we need uh, we need to have a concrete mm. uh, measures in place. Um, uh, how you're going to do it, and uh, what are the time limits? 
and we, we, we shall be able to, to, to accept some of these things when mm. they, they give us a, a concrete promise that this is the way we, we intend to approach it. And uh, we, we hope by this time, uh, the, the, the food prices, although all these issues will, uh, will be within the reach of, of the Kenyans. Yeah. Kenyans. That is the spirit Senator, we are going into this meeting with. You know, when you, when you go into a negotiation, you have three things in mind. This, I'll have won 100%. This, I'll not have won everything, but I'll be okay. This, and I've lost. And so your, your supporters, for example, would like to hear, when you go into these negotiations about these four issues, you've said cost of living can be discussed. And you've said if uh, it comes down or if there's concrete plan on how it's going to come down within X number of weeks or months, that is something that you can say we have not lost in this negotiation. When it comes to the audit of the service and the IEBC reforms, what would you say is what you'd consider an outright win or a compromised victory, a draw or a loss? It's either you got the three points, you shared a point each, or you lost the three points. Now, I think for things, uh, for an issue like IBC is, mm. is almost obvious. But we do not expect uh, not to be given space to, 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 to level the field. Uh, I, I do believe, uh, even them, it is in their own interest that uh, the confidence of the Kenyans uh, must be there. Mm. If you look at uh, the, 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 the list that they are, uh, they are having right now, not all Kenyans are comfortable with that. Because all Kenyans know that this, 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 the people who are there now, they, are from, they were selected by one set of uh, uh, team. Mm. We have not selected ours. So we have not actually put it out there and say, it's going to be this way. So you'd like a reconstitution so of the selection panel yes. to include uh, people who've been proposed by Azimio? We, we want it uh, to the Kenyans. We are not okay. going to propose people. It should be open. See, the membership it should is be a, an open field. It's, it's the two from the Parliamentary Service Commission, uh, from the uh, political parties liaison. Yes. Then there is the religious, there is the LSK, and there is the Public Service Commission. Yes. Do you want to re would you like to reorganize the composition of the selection panel, or would you like to be allowed to nominate people into the selection panel? I think we should also be allowed to nominate some people to this selection panel. Okay. And the whole thing, the whole exercise, be conducted again. Okay. Savas, the audit of the election. What do you want to see? As to who won the elections. And it's so simple. When we say open the servers, well, what's, what's, the, what's the big deal about that? What's the big deal? If you won, you won. If we have lost, we have lost. At the end of the day, once you open the servers, all Kenyans will will have a, a sigh of relief mm. and know what uh, happened and, nay, and know exactly who won the election okay there's nothing wrong in that and we're not asking for something that cannot be done or has never been done in conducting this audit do you need a commission in place i think we need we need experts we don't necessarily need a commission in place and how will we determine who the experts in this field are? Because, again, when you, you talk bring, about experts... You bring yours. Yes. We bring ours. Okay. And then we open the server. Mm -hmm. We have a look at it. And then the servers will speak for themselves. You know, this server... I mean, I'm, I'm not sure I can understand the server and even, even if they open it. So, <laughs> and I'm, sure, the, no, I'm sure I'm not alone. You know, it was you open know, to you, us. You're not alone because there are quite a number of, you know, rumors <laughs> moving around oh, sorry, now. Sorry, to, to coin that, here. That, that, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, and we are saying the sooner you open them, the better. The better for everybody. Mm. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you will mm. not do karabati for, for, for everything. Mm. 
somehow we, we also have experts who will be able to say you have done something wrong with this. Mm. But th the servers are Must where, be open. where we believe we are quite safe. Mm. Mm. But let me ask you now as a jurist yeah. and as a lawmaker, do you need a commission in place to audit the election results or to the performance or the conduct of the 2022 elections? Remember, we don't have a single commissioner. Yes. Do we need a commissioner, at least commissioners, a quorum of commissioners in, in office so, so that this can happen? Well, I think that's a technical question. But uh, as it is at the moment, we don't, need, we don't need them in place. Why? Yeah. Why should they be? The, but because they're the same ones who we, 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 we are complaining about. Essentially, are you saying this process cannot wait until you agree and you actually have commissioners? Then you can say, because let's say this process begins and there are no commissioners. Will somebody not also not go to court? And say, and say this process cannot take place, place because without, there are no yes. commissioners. Mm. Mm, I, 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 wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't look at it from that angle. You know, you've been a judge of the High Court. Yeah. Yes, so... Yeah. People bring all manner of things to court. Yes. But I think, I, I don't think we should, we should look at it from that angle. Okay. However, what I'm saying is, uh, mm. once we sit there mm. and deliberate our mm. issues, we definitely, as Kenyans, for the sake of this country, mm. will find a solution. You're confident? I'm very, very confident that okay. all of us mean well for this country. Mm. I have nowhere to go. Mm. I can't run away to Tanzania. Tanzania is not going to be my country. <laughs> I can't go to Uganda. It's, it's what it is now. Mm. So I'd like to stay in my own humble country and... Uh, and make things work. Mm. Small things or whatever way. Mm. And whichever way I can make this country a better place. Mm. That is what I want. I want to leave this a better country than the way we found it for our children. So I, I'm very, very confident... But when, once we present this thing, whether we want the commission or we don't want the commission in place, or whether we shall, how we shall go about it, we shall agree. And whatever we agree mm. on mm. should be for the, for the betterment of this country. I, I'd like just to understand one thing. So if let's take this uh, view that we have a situation where the servers are opened and the servers declare that William Bruto won the election. Are we saying as me we'll say we are okay with it? Quite comfortable. Very comfortable. Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. As someone who doesn't understand or doesn't know how to read servers. <laughs> you won't be able to know what this thing no, is sure, saying I'm in sure, order I'm for sure. one thing to happen. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you can. Once, once it is explained. Once it's opened. Yeah. Once you, it's opened, you, you will know. The server will speak to me. Yeah, so and I will yeah. understand the server. Yes. yes. <laughs> Judge, why yes. the server? Huh? Why the server? Because that's where the truth lies. Because you, ca you can't alter it. You can play around with whatever other, whatever, uh, 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 with the little knowledge that we have been briefed on. Mm. See, I'm yes. not alone. Even the judge here yes. has little knowledge of these things. But <laughs> judge, <laughs> the case before the Supreme Court was alleging that the server was manipulated. That that is where the truth was uh -uh. changed. Uh -uh. That Jose Camargo uh -uh. entered the server... <laughs> And change the truth. He can, he can only go into one side and uh, and 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 alter, but uh, the the main the main where the main results come in. I don't know what I can call it. Mm. That is where it is not possible for anyone. Uko ndani uko. Uko kabisa. Uko. uko. Oh, that's yeah. where the truth. Iyo hiyo zuko patikana. Iyo iyo wewe zuko change. Okingia kunyehekano. Iyo hiyo you can't change it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what that we, is we what are saying. That, 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 we yes, that is yo, what yo, we are saying. Okay. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. But then, the result, the result that announced you as winner was a physical result. Is that not true? Yes. And at that point, when the result was being declared, yes. the form that was the collating all the results was a physical form. 
The same thing was happening for all these six, six seats. Even the presidential result at the constituency level was a physical form. Yes. Chebukati and all the other, all the commissioners waited for the physical human beings to take a physical form to bomb us. Yes. And Chebukati and all the commissioners said yes. that it is those physical forms that they relied on to announce the result. So why the summer? You see, the, the counting of, uh, of uh, these votes for members of parliament or MCAs and women rep and senators, uh, it's not the same way the way they're counting for the presidency, presidential votes. You see, the presidential votes are, are, are very crucial in such a way that uh, uh, when they are being forwarded from the counties, it's not the physical form. It is what we is being is being posted there by those it's, returning. It's the officers. aggregate of what has been collated. Yes. That is what is sent. Yes. So you're saying all and the that one mm. once it is fixed there. Mm. My small knowledge that that kind of a storage fast cannot be changed. Mm. Except now when when they get there, it's when Sasa Akina Kamango or the rest mm. yeah, came in after those things have now been posted from the counties. And therefore it becomes very, very difficult to interfere with those presidential votes up mm. there. Uh, but then uh, you can manipulate now from this other side which I think, uh, well, as the rumor goes around, that this, this is what they're working on now. Mm. <laughs> why, why, what, why, why oh, is the delay? Yes, well, oh. fixing it now. There's something being fixed right now. Yes, of course. We are saying, <laughs> yes, okay. we are yeah. saying yeah. They, should, they, should, they should be able to agree and open, and the, open the service. Now. We have our own experts. Mm. We will be able, be able to, uh, to look at them and uh, then do the necessary uh, the translation and, and inform us. Okay. Senator, we thank you very much for joining us today <laughs> for this conversation. We'll invite you again to come and keep up updating on what's happening and grateful. also the business yeah. of, of the Senate.